Hello fellow makers and welcome to this 3D printed soup short. I like to make these short videos when something comes up that I think, you know, other people might like to know about. So I'll make a quick video just with a, an idea or with a tutorial of something which has happened to me which I've worked my way around and think maybe other people have hit that problem too. In this case, I've been doing a 20 hour print for my next video. Halfway through, about nine, ten hours, I realised I had seriously, seriously underestimated the amount of filament this thing would take to print and I could see this was slowly running out and there was about three hours worth of filament there and about five six hours left to print maybe more well you think what do you do do you click stop do you cancel it no because you've already wasted a load of time and you've wasted a load of filament so this is what I do if I realize I'm half for a print and I'm running out of filament you might do something different. If you do, leave a note in the comments below. Let me know what you do. This is my remedy for running out of filament mid-print. Picture the scene. You've got a 20 hour print running. You've got a nice layer going, everything's great, but then, oh God, you're running out of filament. There isn't enough filament there to cover a postage stamp. You're never gonna make the next 10 hours, but what do you do? Well, you don't panic. You follow 3D Printed Soup's guide to replacing filament mid-print. Patent pending. First thing you're going to need is a new roll of filament. In this case, I've got Everyone Grey. It's a nice, good quality filament, but not too expensive. Make sure you keep the filament tight as you remove the end from the edge of the filament spool. You don't want them getting loose because you'll get jams halfway through. Find where you want to cut at about a 45 degree angle. Hold the filament so the rest of the spool doesn't loosen off. Give it a quick snip, exactly the same as you would loading a fresh spool of filament. Next you want to do is go down the options and go to pause print. Give that a click, careful not to hit stop. And what this will do is it will stop everything. The hot end will go to the edge, it will start cooling down and your build tray returns to its starting position. Now we're ready to do a quick change. If you've been quick enough, then the hot end will still be hot enough for you to actually pull the filament out. So grab the calipers, give them a squeeze and remove the filament from the Bowden tube and the extruder assembly. We then remove the half empty or spool, dispose of it ethically, please recycle. And we put the new one on. There we go. Remove the end of the filament from the edge of the filament reel, which you made sure you kept in there so that the reel doesn't get slack. Otherwise you're gonna get problems later on with it jamming up and you're not gonna be there. And the print's gonna fail whether you replace it or not. Load it into the extruder as per normal. Give that caliper a squeeze and insert it into the Bowden tube. Ooh, uh. However, you know that the hot end is cold, so go down to preheat PLA. Give that a click, set your temperature, and heat up your hot end. Also heat up the bed as well to make sure it sticks nicely. With that done, you should get a nice flour filament coming in when it hits the right temperature. Just remove that, because that will basically make a mess if it tries to adhere back onto the same level you left it on. Resume the print. And there you go, your hot end gets back to work. You might have a little bit on the edge there, but you can just take that off later. And beautiful. Not a blemish on your print, as long as you didn't knock the Y axis or the X axis, it's smooth sailing from here. So there you go. A fairly simple and easy way to add more filament halfway through a print. Only problem is, if you do adjust the vertical by any way whatsoever while you're doing it, it can lead it basically to smashing into the print and tearing it off the print bed or missing the top completely and just printing in thin air. Neither of which are good. So when you're doing it, be really careful you don't push the bar up and down. Other than that, this is a very good way of getting your 3D print to carry on going even though you're running out of filament. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it educational. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay happy, stay safe. Keep printing.